So you want to sort of understand Google Ads structure a little bit better. The specific structure I'm going to be talking about in the account is for a search campaign. What a search campaign is, when you type anything into the Google search engine, your advert or a search advert will be one here that is displayed with an ad on the right hand side and looks like the rest of the, the search results, but it's paid for. So let's break down the structure of a search campaign. So this is the overall structure and how it's broken down is number one, we have our Google ads account. This is where everything is housed. So area like your billing, your conversion tracking, your keyword research, and obviously your campaign management happen all under this one umbrella, all under your Google ads account. Secondly, we have our campaigns. So per campaign, you can have as many as you want and I would recommend you separating them out just like your search bar within your website. So you want these out segmented strategically so you can have, you can get an understanding of the performance of this sort of area within my website, this area of services within my website. Thirdly, we have under our campaign, we have our ad groups and our ad groups are where our keywords live. And as I recommend in my previous other videos, you want your keywords to be as similar as possible because the benefit of having various similar keywords is we can have very similar ad copy within our adverts. And when our keywords are more specific to our adverts and also our landing pages we use um, when we send them to our final URL, this is beneficial because it is relevant to what the user is actually searching for. So overall ad group is where our keywords live okay and finally we have our ads so in google ads you have a responsive search ad these consist of 15 headlines and four descriptions and as i've said previously you want to make your ad copy as specific to the keyword you're bidding for and i would recommend you only need to start off with one ad only because you have obviously 15 headlines and four descriptions you can give that to Google and say to Google, find me the best combination possible with this advert. And then once it gives you some sort of idea based off data that you can then expand. But start off with one advert per ad group, in my opinion, as long as your, <laughs> your keywords are very similar, then one ad is absolutely fine. So as I said, you can have as many campaigns as you want and as many ad groups as you want pretty much within each campaign, but just make sure the keywords you're bidding for are very similar. Okay, so that's the overall basic structure of Google Ads accounts. A few other useful videos I have are free essential Google Ads campaigns for a service-based business. So if you have a service-based business, these are campaigns you should be running. You should be definitely running because they are very beneficial and they cover the sort of areas that you want to be targeting within the search engine. And finally, in order to sort of cover all of the areas for our keywords, this is a keyword research strategy that I have created in order to make sure you don't miss any keywords that would be beneficial for your account. So I hope that one helps and I'll see you in the next one.